Please let me get a picture too of you guys. I know. Do you guys want to do like your Zoolander poses for like the boost deal? <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? All right. Well, I'd like to start by thanking everyone for coming today. Friends and family, we're gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. We're celebrating adventures that have been had and the biggest adventure yet to come. We're celebrating commitment. Commitment both to yourself, to each other, and to your relationship. We're celebrating your struggles, your victories, and most importantly, your love, because it's love that brings us to where we are today. As family and friends gather around to bear witness to the love that you've created, we provide our blessings and our best wishes to the beauty and worth of your matrimony. The commitment that you are about to make and the marriage you're about to engage in is a never-ending entity. We're told that love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. But we also know that love is unbreakable. There have been times when doubt assails your lives and relationship, but it's okay because love is built upon through these trials and tribulations. In the end, love is also going to bring you through all of it. Love is staying up late with each other, working on projects until exhaustion, asking your partner for help, especially when it's needed. It's inside jokes, it's tears, and it's laughter. Love is one of the greatest shelters that we can be offered in any storm. We know that love is not something that just appears. It's something cultivated from the very first day. For a large part of your lives, you've been building with each other. From camping out under the stars to camping out in dorm rooms, you guys have been through it all. You've withstood the trials of time and distance, and you've emerged stronger than ever before. You've built one of the sturdiest foundations, and now your love stands as an example for all of us gathered today. As you stand before us today, I would ask that you continue to treat each other with dignity and respect as you have done so many times before. The tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that you have shown each other will continue to be the building blocks upon which your relationship thrives. I would ask that you remember the love and the moments that brought you to where you are today and the paths that you both have traveled. When times get hard, it's gonna be that love that's gonna carry you through. And while today marks the end of your unwed journey, it's the beginning of a much bigger one. Every day you're gonna awaken with the chance to renew the vows that you're going to speak momentarily. Not in words, but in actions, just like you've done so many times before. You're going to lean on each other in times of need. You're going to celebrate with each other in times of triumph. You're going to conquer mountains, literal and metaphorical. You're gonna rise up as you've done again so many times before. You'll continue to understand each other on levels deeper and deeper as time goes by. You'll know each other's lives, your loves, your wants and desires. You know each other's dreams and fears. You're going to share each other's goals and ambitions. And while some things are going to change today, it's going to be apparent to your family and friends that not, not everything is going to change. Your love has always been present and has always been growing and will continue to blossom as it has for over half a decade. You will learn new things about each other in the coming years. As your love and life continue to grow together, eventually they will become indistinguishable. You are each two halves of a complete whole. The ring is a symbol of this never-ending love. It has no end and no beginning, a perfect circle. It symbolizes the permanence of the love that you two share each and every day. Each day you wear these rings, let them serve as a reminder of the vows you are about to speak. John, please present your ring. Do you, John Gesselman, take Stephanie Bird to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and to hold from this day forward, in sicker and health, for better and worse, for richer and poorer, as long as you both shall live. I do. Please place your ring on Stephanie's left hand. Do you, Stephanie Bird, take John Gesselman to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and to hold from this day forward, in sickness and in health, for better and for worse, for richer and poorer, for so long as you both may live? I do. Please place the ring on John's left hand. <laughs> By the power vested in me, it is my sincere pleasure to introduce you for the first time as a married couple, Dr. John Gesselman and Dr. Stephanie Bird. You may now kiss the bride.
did it! <laughs> Congratulations, of course. I hope that wasn't too short. No, it was too short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs>